In the age of the internet, if you want to launch a product to the masses, you don't have to start small anymore. Simply promise higher than you could ever deliver, undercut the well-known brands on price, and put a ton behind branding and building the right image. With this, you can reach everyone who just don't know any better, who think they're getting a good deal. If you've spent any time on YouTube, it's really hard to escape Raycon. They promise audio quality to rival the top brands. Compared to the likes of the Apple AirPods, they are competitively priced. What they deliver is a sound that is bassy and thin. The buds come in this flimsy case and they're made of plastic so they feel downright budget. There isn't much to say about the branding, other than it feels like a complete ripoff of Beats by Dre. Raycon sponsors large and small YouTubers to promote their buds for a hefty discount. They target the masses, not the audio files. If you look up a review by anybody that knows audio, you'll find a much, much different opinion. There's really nothing special about Raycon, except their marketing strategy. Kicks that are watch brands that are all basically the same. They all have the exact same pitch and all claim affordable luxury, which is more like internet slang for cheap and cheerful. At first glance, they do look the part, going the extra mile to show they're all high-end and aspirational. Each company will have a smart brand and bucket loads of positive marketing material pushed across social media. The best way to describe these watches is basic. Most designs aim for modern minimalism, meaning they take a style established in the 20s and dumb it down even further to create plain and boring designs. I'm pretty sure these four are the exact same watch. Or, some aim for the look of quality European watches, but come across as low effort ripoffs. Like Raycon, if you do a small amount of research, you'll find their exotic and premium sounding materials are industry standard and likely mass produced. For example, a $100 watch will feature an internal motor worth a couple of dollars if bought in bulk. Also, genuine leather is the lowest grade of leather money can buy. It is cheap, not luxurious. These brands are glorified middlemen. It's private labeling where all the money is spent on marketing as products are bought wholesale from China. This approach works so well for the company movement that in 2018 they were bought out by watchmaker Movado for $100 million. They weren't bought out because of their quality products, but because of their profit margins. It all comes from companies that leverage social media, endorsements, and Kickstarter to build the business. The real story behind these brands is not craftsmanship, it's entrepreneurship. And from the world of video games, you have Raid Shadow Legends, promising a full AAA single player experience, console level graphics, hours of content. Similar to Raycon, you won't see gaming channels talking about Raid, but it was the gaming channels that called this game out for their overblown claims. Raid is being endorsed by non-gaming channels and picked up by the more casual gamers, which is who the game is made for. You can tell this is made for the casual market as it basically plays itself. It's less of a video game and more like a slot machine. And being a free to play game, it has a ton of microtransactions, which you'll need to fork out for to make any kind of meaningful progress and to unlock the best characters. Casual games have come a long way since the days of Bejeweled, and Raid does look like a AAA experience at a glance, but this game came out the same year as Red Dead Redemption 2. Even next to much better free to play games, this is a joke. There are hundreds of games like Raid who provide very lucrative sponsorships, and they're not the only one using this strategy, but it's certainly the most well-known game. If you want to make a cash grab video game, it's much easier to go after the ever lucrative casual market. While most products aim to get the early adopters on board first, with the right approach you can reach the more casual observers. All you need is to create the right brand, the right marketing material, and you target the right people. It really doesn't matter if you're selling a mediocre product. Cheap and cheerful simply doesn't exist. It always sounds a little bit too good to be true, and if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is.